Hi Virgo, welcome back to my channel. Tis I, the one only Archer with Archer Astrology. How are ya? Virgo, it is time to do your love energy check-in for you and the one on your mind for December of 2023, or whenever you clicked on this reading and decided to come and hang out with me, because my readings are timeless and meant to find you when you find them. I do appreciate you for taking your time today to be here with me. If you could return the love and love that like for me down here, help get us out into the algorithm and the familiar to grow, I would appreciate it. I do appreciate your subscribing, sharing my channel in the videos. It's It all means so much to me. Please and thank yous across the board. Um, subscribe, set the bell to all notifications. I do go live every Wednesday nights at 8 p.m. Eastern for an all signs from Aries to Pisces, plus a card for each sign. Also, feel free to page the swords all over my channel as much as you like. Or don't. It's up to you. Totally. I just heard Casey Musker's follow your arrow. Or don't. All right. It's your choice. Magician energy. Um, but yeah, I do, however, have some awesome playlists. There's some healing music based covers with Bill over here. He's a Gemini. He's a lefty. He's cool, though. He's okay. He's cool. I got some pick a card readings for my decks pick you. See what those are all about. And of course, all of your weeklies, monthlies, and lives are neatly prioritized and organized into playlists for your viewing and enjoyment. So you can make it a day and you can just binge watch me. All right. Appreciate you for being here and being a part of this. All right. So Virgo, we are going to take a look at the energies that are around you and the one in your mind and what's going on for December of 2023. And you have the new moon going to be in Sagittarius on the 12th, which is uh, right on the heels, literally, of Mercury retrograde, which is happening again. This one is beginning on the 13th, and ooh, grand trine in the cards, and um, we'll continue on till the New Year's. So happy New Year, Mercury retrograde will end, okay? Um, but the neat thing about this, with the energies that are around it, Mercury's your dominant rock, so you're going to feel Mercury retrograde the most of all. Um, but the thing about it is when it's in Sagittarius, the Sagittarius energy kind of, it's infectious. It takes over. And so this Mercury retrograde with that Sag energy on it, it's kind of like spirit coming up to you like a Sag and being like, hey, hey, how about this retrograde? We try something new and different. You want to you wanna, you wanna look deep? You want to get back? You want to get back, Jojo? <laughs> oh, I just heard the Beatles get back. That's a good song, too. I love the bass line in that one. But yeah, this is actually a lot of time to reflect back on yourself, your life's experiences, and you really see the things that you remember that make you happy and bring in the happiness back, okay? So apparently Virgo's bring in happy back. Yeah! <laughs> okay, we're getting a lot of music for you. So let's go for it. The full moon in Cancer is happening on the 26th too. We'll get into that later, but it's, it's actually going to be very nice. Don't be scared of this full moon because the moon's at home. It's in Cancer. So this is actually going to be a really good full moon. you got a lot of good energies up in the skies this month, no matter what your sign is. All right. But in this reading, it's for you, Virgo, darling. So let's go for it. For Virgo and the one on their mind for December of 2023, we're going to do a nine-card spread on the table with the tenth card outcome at the bottom using my crow deck here, doing the heavy lifting, and then grab my brand new TV series tarot, which I am really digging this. It's awesomeness um, for, like, a ton of clarifiers at it, okay? And, of course, only the highest and greatest good messages for Virgo because that is a prereq here. All my spirit guides know it. All right, let's do it, Virgo. Here we go. For Virgo and the one on their mind. Thoughts, feelings, etc. What do we have for Virgo spirit? What do we have? Here we go. Two shuffles, Virgo. Let's do it. One. And two. Let's love this deck for Virgolicious. All right. Let's do it. The bottom of the deck is the Nine of Swords. A lot of up in your feels, Gemini energy too. So a lot of mutability comes out here. So the outcome is that being up all night, playing Caitlin Petty, staring at the ceiling on repeat. Something about that music speaking into this one here. Let's see what we got underneath. It's Nine of Swords. I don't want you to have a bad outcome. King of Wands to the Moon card. Out oh, of the Seven of Wands and Justice. So your outcome is feeling like something and temperance. Patience is a virtue. Sagittarius energy way underneath here in the energies, though. So, yeah, on the surface, the outcome looks like you're going to be stressed. You're going to be worried. But with this King of Wands energy down here, it's actually showing that beneath the moon energy. So the moon cycles, that new moon in Sag, is what's actually going to help crest this energy in. The Seven of Wands. So a lot of protection in what you believe in, in your thoughts and your feelings and your energies. And the Justice the balance coming in to level all the chakras out and the head and the heart working together to bring in the balance and the healing. So yeah, maybe even that's how you're feeling is that everything coming at the surface is stressful or frustrating. 
but below the surface you're actually finding a way to help others to help yourself and to to actually transmute that energies and and heal people to to really reflect back on um like actions thinking before you react type of a thing okay that's not bad and that's just coming out of the outcomes so you are definitely leveling up maybe i'm talking to a teacher or something you have to do with school and college we're going to find out all right so let's go for it your present em your present emperor g what well, figure that one out your present energy is the empress fixed energy leo aquarius scorpio and taurus okay that's a lot of stability and a lot of fixed energy you're ready to receive and you're open to this here i also noticed off of this right out of the gate especially when it connects to that i just mentioned about like schools or colleges or something that you've been training or learning or working on well what not um you uh recently passed a test maybe you're like right at that point coming up into the beginning of the month that there's like exams or tests or just a spiritual test or a spiritual attack you've been recently through you passed it empress energy you came out on top and looking really good okay all right going forward into that our immediate influence the nine of wands more sagittarius energy here and more protection the nine of wands wall is huge donald trump's jealous of this thing he looks at it and he's like this is huge i'm told sagittarius built it it is superb craftsmanship all right uh, nine of wands the number nine and the number three showing up so that could mean something to you as well 93 possibly all right going forward your goal or destiny is the wheel of fortune cancer sagittarius energy this here is is feeling the pause in the things as spirit puts things into place for you so maybe you're even at a moment right now where you're kind of like feeling a little lost or in void of course and wondering what's going on like okay we've, we've gone through all this stuff and i passed this awesome test archer what's next Kind of like you're in a void of course. Maybe your moon placement could be affecting this situation. All right. But and even though this is Sagittarius energy along with Cancer for the wheel that divinely guides this here, there's a lion hanging out underneath the deck. So there is some strength behind all this help and motivate you forward. Okay. Um, the 10th could be a date that resonates as well to you. Maybe your birthday or theirs possibly. All right. Taking a look at their present energy, speaking of them, which we are going to. We have the Six of Swords so they are reflecting back as well a lot of sixth house energy which is your energy virgo but they are reflecting back too um maybe maybe it's been a lot while maybe it's been a while there we go got it and and they haven't spoke for a while but this is that energy where just when when they suspect that something peaks their interest and they look back so somebody wonders what you're up to their present energy is really they're thinking about you a lot right now they really, they really wonder what's going on, or if you're online, or you post online, or do anything. They're checking it out and being like, hmm, Virgo's not doing too bad. So they're really reflecting back on a lot of stuff. One of you guys might have a feather tattoo, too, or you've been seeing feathers in your path lately. Um, they're immediate. Oh, no, they, they've, been, they've been seeing the feathers. I just realized we're looking at their energy. So something on their side of the fence is feathers, okay? All right, looking at their immediate influence, we have the King of Pentacles. Uh, who, Taurus? Nope. I heard Taurus. Don't don't think of the other two. Okay. Apparently this is Taurus energy this time around. Taurus Virgo Capricorn. I pulled straight up Taurus. So look at what I got. Oh, that makes sense. King of Pentacles. Yeah. Okay. So like Taurus will show off when you're looking good. They like those finer things in life. Not so much they gotta go to top shelf. They just they go just a, just that one step above. You know that type of a thing on this one here. Look what I got. Maybe it's even in your crown chakra, one step above that's kind of, or theirs, that's energizing. Interesting how the energy continues to spin into this loop. Maybe you guys, I'm already pulling some mirroring, but we'll find out more about that. That takes us towards the future of the connection together, which is the Knight of Pentacles. Virgo energy, that's you. This here is, 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 it's the U.S. Postal Service card of the deck, because even though it's not Amazon Prime, it don't arrive on time. Neither rain or sleet or snow or anything will stop the Knight of Pentacles from getting to his appointed rounds. And I know y'all think snow is awesome, but wait until you have to shovel it and you have to drive in it and then you got to salt and then the heating bill goes up. That's Virgo energy on this one, really analyzing everything as it goes forward. So even this is what I'm pulling the future influence on. This is energy that you actually are somewhat comfortable with or adjusting to or getting familiar with. OK, I just heard 888 hertz off of this one, too. So we're going to find out some more about that as we go along. But, um, okay, going forward, what's the incoming energy that's getting into this tried, tested, true? You, it's, dude, you both actually believe in this connection an awful lot. Nice. I like that. Yeah. Say it here and it comes out here. King of Cups. The incoming energy is an unconditional love and more mutable energy. Pisces energy on this one. Your mutable signs, the third decan of each sign, and that point of the, the adaptability to change before the sun enters into another sign is, is the mutable energy of Pisces, you, Gemini, and Virgo. 
All right, so this shows an unconditional love that's coming in. It looks like we're seeing a lot of energy around the new moon cycle pulling in here on the incoming energy. So um, that's around the 12th or, or around the new moon in Sagittarius energy on this. Sag and Pisces, I'm thinking at this point. I just heard baby shark too. So something may have, there might be children or kiddos affecting the situation. We're going to find out, all right? Anyhow, the environmental factors around this is the seven of cups. Balancing the chakras out. That is actually eight, eight hertz I pulled. Now, granted, this can be options where, where you, you feel like you have multiple options or something coming in. But with the tested, tried stability of the Knight of Pentacles, King Cups connection in this relationship, I don't see that as that. I don't see it as either of you. You guys don't want to entertain. This is something that you want to go 10 plus in, in the distance with this one. Okay. So it actually levels up all the chakras. You see you got the heart chakra. You got the solar plexus. The snake is there. The eye. All of it. All the chakras balance in. And I did mention the 888 hertz that connects to this one here. Maybe you're born on the 7th or the 8th possibly. All right. That takes us towards the inner emotions. The death card. Scorpio energy. The new beginning that rises like a phoenix out of the ashes. Literally, that's the energy of this here. It's the end of that old cycle. And the inner emotions are that you both want this new beginning. And it's the direction that it's coming for you. you got strong Scorpio energy showing up in like the, the environmental factors around you. And Sagittarius as well. Okay. So you have got, um, you got a lot of Sag energy. You've got some Cancer. Your mutable and fixed energy is in here. You've got Scorpio, Taurus, Aquarius, and Leo. And then you also have Gemini, Virgo, Pisces, and Gemini, Virgo, Pisces, and Sagittarius. All right, so let's see where this goes from here because it shows that a lot of thoughts have been happening. And this Nine of Swords might even be a little bit of an incoming message. And with that birdcage on there, I just heard a little birdie told me. And even on this Nine of Swords, still got the new moon energy on that one, okay? All right, so the new moon on the 12th in Sagittarius. All right, give me everything you got for the, uh, the Empress card, Nine of Wands, and the Wheel of Fortune. Let's do it to it. You might be born on the 21st or the 3rd, possibly. Right there, stop point. The four of wands. Current energy is a wish that you're working on here. This void, of course, is allowing the energy to play out. Empress, pay out even, too, in the same sense here. So whatever that you really regarded, that pause and things that you're feeling is allowing every energy to line up like the tumblers on a lock as the key goes into it so that you all sync and everyone gets on the same page energy. Twin flame energy comes in off of this, too, which is being granted. And... Uh, <laughs> Maybe, I literally, I, I just saw this off of this here with the Glee card. Maybe I'm talking to a Virgo who just got the email about, like, a, a, the ugly sweater contest at work for Christmas. And, and they're like, oh, gosh, we got to do this one again. But I heard you're going to use the same sweater. <laughs> Way to repurpose it. Nine of Wands, 9-9. Nine, nine. Check out Angel number 9-9. Nine, nine. September 9th could be your date. Could be the day for you. But let's keep going. Two of Swords, to the Seven of Swords, to the Ten Cups, and the Eight of Pentacles. Wow, you guys do work well together when you're on the same page. And it's a very unique connection on this Wheel of Fortune here with MacGyver and the friggin' Adams family showing up. D don't blow up the train, Gomez. Don't. Just speak French, okay? But with the, with the Two and Seven of Swords, you're at Nine Swords, which is actually sinking over to the energy at the bottom over here, too. You want to have some faith in this and clear out the past and go forward onto this one so that you guys can just let bygones be bygones and move forward into the new energies here. So you're taking those five swords, took them away, putting them aside. And like, you know what? We do remember this. We know what we did, so we're not going to be like stupid about it. But we're going to leave it where it be. And let's just, let's just ace of swords and, and, and two-way this thing together on this. It's, it's, you, wow. All that air energy too on this here, this, this, this dreaminess. You dream of working with them. That's actually manifesting something for you, okay? You've done a lot of hard work, just like MacGyver, including the scotch tape and the bailing wire when it was all you had. I just heard a Virgo be like, yep, I used a paper clip, and it worked. <laughs> but, so, you, you guys you guys work well together, and that's what you see, feel, and dream on this one here. And actually, that's protecting the connection. It's also allowing you to protect your energy, because you, you've dominated. You've been dominating through through uh, November, definitely. And it allows you to come out and... and and focus. You got a little Virgo time is needed that you got coming in. I almost feel the Nine of Pentacles without seeing it because of all these nines. That that will actually allow you to to take the time to breathe and and to stay more positive. Actually analyzing and seeing that negative stuff when it approaches in order to turn it around and controlling how you react to the, to the situation. It's it's nice energy. All right, the 18th could be something that resonates as well to you guys too. I'm also seeing the 20th. All right. See, I started late on that Six of Swords and their energy, but I was still over here. So it's a crossing energy. With the Strength card. Could be a Leo Virgo Cusper energy on this one, too. 
And this down here is the Queen of Cups. That's unconditional love. Could be a Cancer Leo Cusper energy even off of this one here to write and tell about it. All right. So you guys are, there is some mirroring that was coming off this because this laid down into your current energy. I almost went to this and it went to this. All right. So putting it down there with that strength card, they are finding some strength to get through this because even if you guys aren't speaking at the moment, whether you are, you have little or much it is, they love you a lot more than they're showing into this. And that's the Six of Swords that's making them turn around and want to look back on this because they really love you with that charm card. It's all good energy. It's all positive energy off of this, okay? Six of Swords, Six Six comes in as well. So now we've seen Six Six and Nine Nine. Never mind, Six 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 just completed the energy here. There is a deep soulmate connection. And before you freak out when I tell you that Angel Number Six 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 has some guidance for you and go, ooh, ah, devil energy, Six Six Six, hang tight. Jesus was a December 25th Capricorn. It is actually some good guiding energy. G-O-A-T energy comes in off of that, okay? So they are doing some heavy looking back on you. That's the energy around this here. And with this Queen of Swords, they're really tr trying to figure out what they say, analyzing deep into this soulmate connection, okay? They feel it. They know it's there. And the Knight of Pentacles showed that it is something that's taken a long time to come around, but it's divinely guided and written in the stars, Angela Lansbury style, okay? So... With that coming down to it here, like maybe even if there's little to no communication or it's just quiet, maybe they're just like children could be a factor. Because I just heard like like your person saying, I'm just trying to figure out what to get the kiddos for Christmas. I don't even know. I don't even know. All right. So I'm. they have a lot on their mind with that double six swords, but you're still there. And with that six cups, they know it goes deep. Maybe even at one point you've helped them pick out the presents or something. And they were like, oh, I just wish Virgo would help again or something. Something's connecting them over to your energy. And it's the eight of cups. They regret walking away from this. With they regret walking away from the happiness with the three to the eight of cups. And I did feel that eight, 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 eight energy coming off of this one. It's almost like they knew or saw this coming. They knew they would wind up loving you. It's like they never really let you go, even if it's only been a day or something, or what? Or you guys just forgot to say I love you before bedtime. You know your situation and the name you said not. You. But it, 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 they, they haven't. It's like they, they knew this would work itself out somehow. Unsure how, but it would. And all those six of swords shows that it comes in. Just like when the government looked at all of us and was like, um, hey guys, uh, UFOs exist. And we're all, all of us were like, we told you that 30 years ago, where you been? That sort of a thing. And that, that's kind of this, where you been energy. More new moon shows up too. More new moon. Mm -hmm. It's not that far off either too. But they're realizing this connection onto this one here. It's kind of like once they figure out and get the shopping completed, they'll be okay. So <laughs> take that as it resonates. Something like that, okay? And you could be born also. I'm also seeing the dates. You or them. The 16th, the 10th, or the 20th, if I didn't mention it. Also the 7th or the 8th. Knight of Swords. Here's the fast moving energy. Once it starts, you guys both know it's going to happen here. And slowing down, Knight of Swords energy here. Top Gun, Maverick comes in flying right past that tower. But... You, when you got rooster and you got goose and everybody's along for this right here and all your chakras are balanced up in that energy it's knowing that there's actually three sides to every story and judging the feelings for all parties involved okay before any reactions happen it's a very very high level energy and it's it's very balanced it's gorgeous i love it it's slowing down and taking the time to pay attention to how you react and i just saw an image of ice skating like an ice skating ring like you or them have a really nice memory of ice skating or or one or the two of you are wanting to go ice skating together or or there was or there's just a really fond memory of you of, of going ice skating together. Something like that resonates, okay? Like one of those little ice skating rinks type setups. And somehow I picked the deck up upside down and spun around, but I stopped it on the six of wands. We're on point. Caitlin Petty shows up with Chuck Norris energy here. This here, you cannot kill this connection. It's straight up victorious. On stage, Caitlin Petty, all eight songs, sellout concert, friggin' crowd coming in there, the size of a Taylor Swift crowd. That's Chuck Norris energy. We graduated. You guys graduated from the $55,000 Beatles Shea Stadium level to the frickin' Chuck Norris, Taylor Swift, Caitlin Petty energy. That's a straight-up victory for the two of you guys. Heavy Leo making this outcome because on the King of Cups onto it too, Leo Pisces energy, you guys both want it. And it was it was meant to work out this way. It's, it's coming into a new energy to use your words wisely. The Wheel of Fortune to the Death card. Hmm. Pete and Repeat and the Judgment card with the Hierophant. Wow, Major Arcana. With you at the bottom, the Hermit, Dr. House. Told you, you, you are learning a lot of stuff. Definitely the school of the knowledge here that, that you have that ability, like how House could just, like when no one else could fix it, they sent the person to House. 
something like that. You're, there's a lot that allows you guys to work together when this energy with pairs of sixes here to make something new. And, and it's, it's a lot of adaptability. Judgment card shows reflecting back to the first aid kit. All those wounds of the past get left there, but you learn from it and you're wiser. Both of you are wiser from it. Taurus energy along with judgment shows up. And I pull, I pull mutable energy off of judgment because it's reflecting back to get your stuff in order and to rule forward into it. Or at least that's the way I see it. It's, it's, I don't have my glasses on, but that's the way I see it. And we've got a lot of repetition that shows up here. First of all, your Wheel of Fortune is back on that King of Cups because Spirit's controlling this energy. And it's on both sides of the situation because it's up here for you too. So we've got a, a crisscross completion energy that's tying the reading together. And with the Death card, confirming on the Death card to the Seven of Cups, it, is, it's, it shows you both want the new beginning. And where it's going to go is up to you guys. There's a lot of Law of Attraction energy knowing what you're doing and working together all that knowledge all the schooling whatever kind it is whether it's college whether it's just esoteric learning whether it's healing learning whatever it is you guys are elevated to a whole new level and have graduated and and the pieces to put everything into place that you've been waiting to figure out what's next all kind of just fall into place and line up on a nice energetical level all right the number six is very heavy in the energy here i've seen the six of cups i've seen the six of swords Six of Swords, Six of Wands, Six of Pentacles, Six of Wands was there. Six of Pentacles was the only thing that didn't show on this one here, okay? So the meaning of the minds is in the future predicted outcome, and it probably lies somewhere right underneath the energy that's in that moon energy that brings the Six of Pentacles in to come together on this one here. Might be, might be around that point or that energy. I'm going to snoop for just a second. Something tells me to. We've got the Knight of Wands. The Six of Wands is still hanging out there. To the Three of Wands. To the Moon. So the actual date and time of the Six of Pentacles meeting of the minds is hidden beneath the moon energy. All right. So I hope that helps. Um, interesting reading. You've got a lot of Gemini energy. You have a lot of Libra and Aquarius. So the air signs are all present. Um, a lot of uh, mutable energy. Strong Sagittarius blanketing underneath the, uh, you know, the energies all around the board. Cancer's here. Of course, Leo's right there too. Um, you got some Scorpio showing up too, Taurus, Virgo, and a little Capricorn too. So um, I just heard honorable mentions to Aquarius again. Interesting. Okay. Um, but yeah, so I hope that helps. Leave a message down below in the comments section. Let me know how it resonates, how you're doing, what's going on. I appreciate you taking the time to do that. And I do, um, it takes me a little bit of time sometimes, but I do read, love, like, and respond to all the comments eventually. It's kind of Nine of Pentacles, but it, 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 it happens. Try, test, it, and true. I'm Archer. And uh, do remember that this will resonate to any and all placements within your chart of Virgo, darling, because we are not just our Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venuses, but all the parts of all our charts. And I am FHA compliant here at Archer Astrology. And I'll read for anybody, any sign or placement, anyone that desires and inquires. All you got to do is ask. <laughs> um... Be sure to follow me on TikTok and Instagram. I'm like everywhere at Archer Astrology. And uh, pay attention to my community posts and all those posts too because I will be going live for a collab with Miss Hawaii's Tarot. We're going to go live together for you guys and bring you a Christmas special that will, uh, even the Charlie Brown Christmas special is going to be like, nope. So, so hang tight, stay tuned for that. And make sure you subscribe to me and Miss Hawaii. All right. Um, I appreciate you for being here. Thank you very much. And Spirit, thank you for the messages today. We are very grateful. It means a lot to me that you made time to be here and be a part of this. Share the live, share the channel, share everything we got here, and uh, help the familiar grow. Let's just friggin' heal everybody, Virgo. All right? Until next time, I love you very much. Peace and love. Archer out. Namaste. Yeah. Cheers.